Let's see. So Bad Ending did win by quite a substantial amount. So people wanted that good ending, then uh, you know, came up a little bit short here. Looking like uh, you know the Portland Trailblazers right now, but people are bad. They want bad things. Know, <laughs> sometimes the truth hurts. Well, if um, your sound is all good, then I'm ready when you are. All you gotta do is make a countdown. Okay. So, three, two, one. Go. Smurf! Good luck. Thank you. So this is everyone's favorite stage. Green Hill Zone. Like we haven't seen it a thousand times. Here it is again. So let's just say that I was supposed to pick up uh, an invincibility, which I'll have the backup here. In order to defeat this boss the most quickly. Thank you, Pasta. So, so the thing is, this run is RTA, so we will want to skip cutscenes and score points uh, as fast as possible. Okay, so we got on the top path. That's the optimal path for this stage. Also, the hardest has some pretty hard jumps, which fortunately I got them all. So now we have, if any of you have played Sonic 2, you might remember this guy. This is the final boss from Sonic 2, and this is the first final boss in this game. So you just start playing and the game throws you right at you. So, such as the scoreboards, you also want to hit the capsule as fast as, fast as possible. Unfortunately, I killed the boss in a bad position, which didn't allow me to get a fast capsule hit. So one of the newest additions to this game that previous Sonic games didn't have is the drop dash. As you might notice, when I drop, I'm immediately spin dashing uh, straight. That allows for a lot of new strats. This game is composed mainly of remakes of uh, old Sonic game stages and it has like four original stages. This stage is from Sonic 2, the first stage is from Sonic 1, it has a few stages from Sonic 3 and it has two stages from Sonic CD, which we'll, we'll be seeing. So this stage is one of the most cycle based stages. Everything has to be on point in order to make the fastest cycle. Yeah. 
Okay, so we're nearly the end of the stage. And we have a very funny boss fight, which is not a personal favorite of speedrunners in this game. And you'll soon understand why. There is a cycle on the 115 mark, but I will not risk it because I failed a little bit previously in the stage, so I might get crushed by this block cycle. You can get crushed between the block and that wall, so... Unless you do everything absolutely perfect, you lose 5 seconds, but it's safer to not go for it, because you will lose a lot more if you die. So now we're going to the boss fight. And yes, we are playing Mean Bean Machine, or Puyo Puyo, whatever you want to call it, versus Dr. Eggman. This is full on RNG, which is why I personally hate it. Now, I need another yellow piece. Oh, fortunately, gave it. Nice. We can get something. Let's see how much this this combo do. Okay, that was nice. Now we'll just try and do small combos in order to finish him. RNG also determines where those gray blocks fall. If they fall on the third row, that's what you want, because it will cause almost immediate death. If they don't, the longer you take. As you can see, I'm not having a lot of luck with that. Because he keeps saving himself. And this is the RNG BS that I was talking about. This is a big reset point for a lot of runs. There is a category called Sonic and Tails, which you have your buddy Tails along with you, where there is a very uh, elaborate skip that you can do on this boss. This is one of the original stages. So we're gonna wanna grab here uh, a lightning shield that we're gonna have to keep until the end of Act 2. Because it will make the boss fight for Act 2 a lot faster. Okay, so this part of the run, this boss is basically an auto scroller. There is RNG to it. It fires three missiles. You want to hit the blue missile in order to hit him, and you want it to be on top. So, because that means a faster hit. Okay, so now he gave me a bottom missile. That's the worst RNG, because I'm gonna have to dodge two red missiles. Fortunately, I hope so, because this, this mechanic isn't very easy to work with, the moving camera. There is also a little bit of RNG to these transitions between uh, the sections where he shoots the missiles, but the most important RNG is the missile RNG. Okay, so he gave me two mids and one bottom. Not very, RNG is not being very nice to me, let's just say. Both the Puyo RNG and now this. Ah, so finally he gave me a top missile. The difference is, I can immediately do this. So 
so I managed to keep the electric shield for now. But there's an enemy in the second act that can easily take it away from me. Let's just hope he doesn't. I'll tell you when, when he shows up. This guy right here. Fortunately, he didn't. So this funnel also requires a little bit of good movement because you can spin a lot inside that funnel before you actually drop down. So it's all about positioning there. So over here in this part you don't want to hold anything because there is a shield here that you can accidentally catch if you hold any button and you want to keep the electric shield so here's the reason why it's so important you can't reach this boss that's what the electric shield does Now, this stage can be very hard but you can, because you can easily die here. Also very cycle based. Okay, that's the most dangerous part that you can easily fall down in. Also, you also want to keep the electric shield for this act. Because of the boss fight, once again. So I got the fastest cycle on these missiles. If you get there before 1 minute and 3 seconds, you will beat that missile cycle. And get the fastest cycle. So... This boss fight, if you do not have the electric shield, you will have to wait for these two walls to get closer, that will pile up the garbage beneath you, until you reach a point where you can actually hit him. So that would take like an extra 20 to 30 seconds. Oh yes, flying battery music is good. Hey Tiago, how are you doing? Now, the thing with Solo Sonic category is shield maintenance is very important. This is another stage where you want to keep this shield for the boss fight. In most stages, you're gonna want to do that. You're gonna have to keep the shield 
to get the fastest. to get three hits three three hits on him in order to hit uh, hurt this boss I'm gonna have to send him into those spikes okay three hits are done I need to get the other three in the, this next one okay fortunately I got it so the thing is, you can't immediately hit him after he hits the spikes once, because he has a number of iframes. So you have to wait until a specific point in order to send him in again. This is another of the original stages. This is the safest strat for this stage, where you grab the electric shield, makes the stage a lot smoother. But it's also a little bit slower. But since I failed one of the initial jumps on the stage, I wouldn't have made the first cycle, the first possible cycle, which means I would have gotten the exact same time that I, I will have with the electric shield, but without having it. So you might as well grab it. So I'm gonna try a uh, maybe dangerous strat on this boss, but if I die, at least there's a checkpoint right before it. I got it. That makes the boss fight a lot easier and a lot faster. The danger is I can be squashed between those two boxes and die, so... <laughs> Fortunately, yeah, I got it. So, Act 2 has for me one of the greatest soundtracks of this game. Yeah, this song is absolutely chill. So this next boss fight is very related to the game that I'm gonna run next. Because I'm gonna fight Heavy Shinobi. Which is inspired off the game that I'm playing right after. He can be a bastard to you with that. Because he can keep freezing you. Okay, so not a bad fight. 
there is a, an alternate strat where you grab an, a fire shield and you can't freeze you while you have the fire shield, which you can keep him stuck. Stun locked. So we've gotten to the first Sonic CD stage. Start the speedway. As you may notice, there's a very annoying firefly chasing me around the stage. He's always gonna be trying to hit me, and he's gonna be our, our final boss for this stage. Here we are. that damage intentionally so we damage boost into giving him another two hits so this is one of the fastest stages It may seem hard because of being fast, but there is only one really hard part about this stage. Which is a very wide jump near the end. It's coming up soon. That jump. You can easily fall down and die. Because the rest you barely have to hold anything. Now this boss fight is almost like an, a separate stage. Because there is a, a chase scene, a first phase, and a second phase. part is a little bit RNG because it depends yeah I had bad RNG I need him to go into a ball like he's gonna go now so I can immediately hit Metal Sonic right there in the middle see this is the good RNG so this was the first phase of Metal Sonic now we're gonna fight the second phase Shame this was an actual race. <laughs> so now another Sonic 3 level. Another one of the greatest songs of this game series for me. Groovy. So I'm racing against the cycle near the end of this stage, which is a block cycle. So 
things are looking good so far for the cycle. And yes, this is the cycle that I meant. You you can get here soon and make past those blocks, or you're gonna have to wait for them to go back and forth again. So this is another case where you want to keep the bubble shield for the second act. Uh, the the uh, streetwise uh, previously before the Sonic Mania Plus update, the Metal Sonic fight had a, a much bigger chase, but in, in this update they reduced it quite a bit. It had like two phases of. Uh, big chase and also the final boss fight wasn't that huge Metal Sonic so this is an interesting mechanic if any of you have played Sonic 3 you might remember this boss but it was the other way around Eggman was the one in the in the machine so this is a twist this time you're you're sucking Eggman up So this is a, a pretty clean Hydro City Act 1. You always want to start pulling Eggman while he's ahead of you, because it will keep walking right. Yeah, this is another amazing tune. Just a remix of the first one, but it still sounds like a different tune, even so. They all stand out great on their own. I don't actually need the bubble shield for now. For this phase of the of the stage, but I will need it for the final boss. I'm gonna do one of the few glitches in this run. As you see, it's a slope glitch. I went through the slope and avoided a big going around it. Which might cost like 20 to 30 seconds. Now, this boss fight is divided into two phases. This first phase is a little bit of RNG. You can't hit him, so you wanna. The detonate these bombs and make himself hit him. So this is bad RNG. This is a corridor where it's just basically spikes that don't do anything. You want the bombs. So if you get one more more than one of those, it's very bad RNG. It's gonna cost you a lot of time. Which is what probably is going to happen because the first RNG I got was one of those. Okay, maybe not, fortunately.
Okay, so that went well. He starts spinning the water and making the whirlpool. You can easily get stuck there. Oh crap. I might have softlocked myself. No, I didn't, fortunately. You can get softlocked there. <laughs> that would have been quite bad. So this stage is basically another scroller. I can just do this for half of the stage. I can just stand in that corner, spin, and nothing will happen to me. This is one of those phases that if you're in like a GDQ or something, or you want to read donations, this is the perfect phase. There's really not much to say here. Oh, I can't say that this is another of, of four original stages. Uh, you can clearly see that this one is pretty inspired by Sky Chase from Sonic 2. Even this section of the music that you just heard uh, hints at it. Yeah, so... Easy part's over. gonna go on top of the train but you want to go to as fast as possible to get to the boss fights So there's a funny thing, this gun, sometimes for some reason, we, we never figure out why, it can kill you. When you enter that gun, you can, uh, Sonic can die. This boss fight required a little bit of focus because I play this on a very tiny window and I can barely see where he's gonna show up on screen because it's hard to see within all of that yellow for me. So we might want to use this way. Oh my, sorry. Yeah, this is what we wanted. We wanted to take those bubbles, which is, was the fastest way. But unfortunately, this sent me the wrong way, and they were no longer there, so... coming up right now is one of the most annoying boss fights for me. On Once again on Sonic and Tails this is one of the boss fights that you can skip.
You regularly want to get one hit first and then two hits. And as you can see, I got one one. So I'm gonna go into an extra phase. I should have been able to kill him by now. But because I didn't get 1-2-1-2, one, two, one, two, I have to go into an extra phase. So you can understand why it's because it has to have like absolutely perfect timing with your jumps. So another stage from Sonic 2. Very cycle based. Fortunately, I got all the fastest cycles, but this can be a very punishing stage. And fortunately, I also kept the fire shield for the second act. It uh, saves like 3 seconds from grabbing an extra one. Now here, we don't want to skip the cutscene because we want to keep the fire shield. So this was a very good <laughs> act too. Possibly my best ever, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Casually and without the fire shield, that boss fight can be an absolute nightmare, but with the fire shield, it's quite easy. This is another very heavily cycle based stage. Yeah, we want to be careful with that pendulum because we want to keep this fire shield.
So there's a hidden spring in here. We're gonna take it. I don't think it's supposed to be hidden. I think it was a dev mistake. Because in the update before Sonic Mania Plus, that spring was visible. Sub two minutes on the boss fight is always good. Decent stage and boss fight. Now the second act is gonna be a lot harder, both the boss fight and the and the stage itself. See if we can make the cycle. We did it just by a little tiny bit. I could have get cr gotten crushed there. That was a serious risk. But fortunately I made it. By a split second. Or else I would have to wait 10 seconds for the next one. come on my least favorite boss fight in the entire run which is also my biggest time save in my PB I have like almost a minute of time save here fortunately I got it perfect that's the best boss fight you can have so fortunately we did not lose much time here. And that's why the fire shield is important for this fight. Now that spinning ball that she was holding can easily take away your shield. To me, it's the most technical stage of the run because there's a lot of very precise jumps you have to do, drop dashes. It's a hazard. All of it is all of the stage is a hazard because you can fall down into the the part below, and it will cost you a lot of time. Fortunately, that did not happen. 
This is another stage from Sonic CD, by the way. But this boss fight is from Sonic 1. Now he's giving me good RNG. When the pistons come together, I can easily see where he's gonna be and hit him, but if not, like now, I'm gonna have to pause to check his position because it's a bigger time waste to not hit him than to pause to check where he is. Now for the next phase, I'm gonna have to count every four he's gonna show up. One, two, three, and he's here. So, following my least favorite boss, that was my least favorite act. There's also a danger of falling down in this one, but it's much, much less. The biggest hazard in this stage is getting crushed by this part or the next part, which I am gonna look out. This you can also easily get crushed there. Also in this part. crushing hazards fortunately now this boss fight has a very interesting feature you spin the balls and it unleashes one, one very tiny boss on you these amys might might seem harmless but They can grab you and uh, get a hold of you while you get hit by other enemies, basically. So, now we're gonna enter the final stage, Titanic Monarch, and the final original stage of the game. There's also a very difficult strat to pull off for the boss fight, which I will show, which is very near the end of the stage. In order to no- because the boss fight has a lot of RNG, in order to nullify it, you want to have the invincible I'm sorry, not the invincible, the electric shield with you. This one that you get here. The 
there's also going to be a slight crushing hazard coming up. So we're going to watch out for it. This part is one of the most dangerous. Okay, I lost the shield, but it's not a problem. There is a backup. Fortunately. If I lose the backup, that's the problem. It's there, that's the backup. Which can easily be lost in those spikes. And in these spikes. So I want to keep this invincibility until the end of this phase. I got it. Fortunately, I got it. But it didn't really matter because it gave me good RNG. So, yeah. The, you can make the elevator either go down or up. If you make the elevator go up, gravity will pull you down. And if you do not have the electric shield, you will have to wait until it decides to pull gravity the other way so you can hit him. That's why keeping that shield is important. final act this is the final act I'm sorry the end of the run so here we're gonna want a damage boost So now I'm gonna do a jump on the ceiling in order to get here faster. This is another stage where we're gonna grab a shield and we wanna hold on to it. It's not mandatory to beat the boss. But it will just make the fight a whole lot easier. Shortcut coming up. Okay, I didn't get the shortcut. It's not a problem. If you don't get the shortcut, don't try to uh, get on it. It's not worth it. Just take the regular way. It's a bigger time waste to keep trying to get on it than just taking the regular way.
Okay. These spinning balls mechanics are the best thing ever. So this is the final boss. Timer's gonna stop on my final hit on the boss. We wanna get like five, five, four, two, if I'm not mistaken. So I got five four, so that means I need to get more hits on the final phase. Okay, I lost the electric shield. It's not a problem. The you can still do it, but it's just gonna be harder. Okay, so I got four hits, that's nice. And that's time. Hey, nice run. Thank you. Thanks for the GG's. Nice run, Popo. Thank you, thank you. So, since we didn't get the emeralds, we've been naughty boys. Eggman won. <laughs>